Hey gang, I was driving, I had a quick thought that I wanted to share with you. You know how you got friends, you got family that just, they just ain't pulling their own weight. It seems like they always need something, they always into some shit. Shit ain't never going right for them. It's just, you know, it just seems like they always um, got bad luck on shit. I put my seatbelt on, same thing first. Uh, and it's just they always need something, right? And it's cool helping people. You know, I like helping people. But at the same time, it has to be some kind of, you know, reciprocity. You know, eventually this shit got to even out. Has to. Has to even out. Because if it doesn't, it just don't make sense. You know, you're just giving your all to some damn body. And uh, they fucking, I don't know. Like I, like I always say, motherfucker, you got to uh, plant a seed. Right? If you're gonna take something off the tree, you gotta plant a seed for some more shit to grow, right? It's gotta be some kind of reciprocity and it doesn't have to always be monetary. It could be knowledge, it could be helping me move, it could be helping me, you know, source some paperwork, it could be anything. But you know, a lot of people they just expect something for fucking nothing. You know, and this it's just a lot I got, you know, not a lot, but I got a couple relationships where I can just tell that, you know, I am not really benefiting from the fucking relationship. You know, it's just, they see, you know, my momentum, they see what I got going on, and it's just like, okay, they want to feed off of that, they want to be a part of that, and I understand, but it's like, shit, you got to you gotta be doing, you know, something for yourself, because if not, uh, long story short, if you're not useful, you're useless. You know, if there's no kind of balancing out, if I can't, you know, favor for favor, you know what I'm saying? Or not even that. You know what I'm saying? I do you 30 favors and you can't do me one. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people It's like maybe they even want to do shit, but they're not in the position to do so, right? I can see at certain points you're not in a position to do shit. But if it's like you've been like that your whole fucking life, you've been fucked up your whole life, you ain't got, you know, you don't have anything to offer anybody. So it's just, you know, just make sure, long story short, just make sure everybody on your team is going to practice and shit, playing a position, right? Because you don't want no, no, no people latching on. You don't want nobody, you know, just bringing you down. You know, when you actually get to where you want to be, uh, I'm not where I'm at or where I want to be yet. But even where I'm at in my life right now, it's a lot of people like, wow, you're successful. Wow, you're doing this. Wow, you're doing that. But it's just like, what are you doing? Right? And then there's a lot of people that, you know, I give them game. I give them advice, show them the way. And they still, like, they don't, they won't even use it. Like I, I can't help you if you won't help yourself. I can't give you know I can't give more of a fuck about your life than you do. So it's just long story short, just your circle. Make sure it's tight, and make sure that you fill it with people that are smarter than you, brighter than you, uh, farther ahead in life than you. Um, you just have to let go of all them insecurities, right? You don't want to be around somebody with more money than you because it make you feel some type of way. You don't want to be around somebody that got a better job than you because it make you feel some type of way. I love being the, the brokest, dumbest motherfucker in the room because I know I'm going to soak up a lot of game, a lot of knowledge, right? If I am, you know, the most influential, the most popular, the most fucking, uh, the greatest guy in the room, I'm going to another fucking room. There's nothing, there's nothing of value that I can get from that room. And like I said, I'm a mentor, so I pour into people anyway. But it's just like, I have to have at least, you know, a core group of motherfuckers around me that, you know, support me and can actually help me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and like I said, it doesn't have to be monetary. I'd rather not be monetary, you know what I'm saying? Because um, if it ain't mine, I don't want it. But if it is mine, I want all of it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just keep that in mind. Make sure you build a strong motherfucking team and just make sure that everybody doing what they need to do, right? Make sure that your dreams line up with their dreams or at least, you know, the shit that you're doing can help them uh, accomplish their goals and their aspirations. Because, like I said, having homeboys and all this other shit, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking more, because, you know, I got friends, you know, and I got the friends that I have, I have them uh, for a lifetime. When I'm done looking for fucking friends, I'm looking for some business partners, you know what I'm saying? Some, some like-minded people. Because as of right now, I don't really have, you know, a mentor. I'm always mentoring somebody else. I'm always telling somebody else something, right? Oh, this is what you do about this. You know, I fucking, just like this platform, I use YouTube. 
you know, I got a bunch. I listen to shit, Dr. Boris Watkins, uh, Eric Thomas, uh, Gary B. So shit, you know, I sometimes you have to look at outside sources for inspiration. But anyway, um, just make sure that your team is strong and everybody wearing the same fucking jersey.